Good evening. Um, first of all, um, let me, of course, express um, my extraordinary thanks and appreciation to Ann Patchett for that um, incredible introduction. I told her uh, just before she came up, you know, you don't allow somebody to introduce you who you have already introduced at other events. It's a good lesson to remember. Of course, most of you in this room know Anne as one of America's best loved writers, but those of us in the bookselling community know her as a colleague, as an intrepid advocate for bookstores who just inspires us every day. So I thank you, Anne, for what you do, and of course, for being such a good friend to me and to indie bookstores all across the country. Thank you very much. I'd like to, I'd like to thank the um, National Book Foundation board, particularly my friends, David Steinberger, Morgan Entrican, Marcus Stoll, Carolyn Reedy, Drake McFeely, and of course, uh, the incomparable Lisa Lucas for this extraordinary honor. When Lisa called me uh, some months ago to tell me of my selection, I wasn't a word dumbfounded. As time has gone on, I must say, I've grown a little bit more used to being called a Letarian. Kind of like the sound of it. Uh, but for one moment, uh, the impact of this extraordinary special recognition will never diminish. I am most grateful. I'm humbled to be receiving this award tonight in the company of America's best writers. I congratulate all the nominees for tonight's awards. Like all of you, I'm eagerly looking forward to the announcements of the winners, though in my book, each and every one of you is a winner for the remarkable craft you bring to your work. I want to acknowledge my many friends in the publishing and distribution community who are here tonight. Um, I've had the privilege of working with so many of you for so many years. And while we may not always have agreed on everything, I'm inalterably convinced that the partnership between publishers and independent booksellers has forged the kind of stronger book community that has spread the joy of reading to millions of Americans, and I thank you for that. I want to also acknowledge tonight the presence of my kids, uh, Carrie, Jesse and Emily, Zach and Ann. Uh, they've been on this journey with me for virtually their entire lives. Of course, on occasions like this, um, we know how much we miss someone who's not with us, but I know that She's smiling down on us tonight. I want to thank my bookselling family, represented by ABA President Jamie Fiocco from Flyleaf Books, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, my two senior staff colleagues from ABA, Joy Del Negra Sanger and Dan Cullen, and of course the five booksellers who served on this year's judging committees, Javier, Mark, John, Sushi, and Kristen. Um, we are very grateful to the National Book Foundation for including booksellers on your panels. Working on behalf of indie booksellers these past 30 years has been a dream job. I have never, ever not wanted to go to work. The creativity, ingenuity, and resilience of booksellers is nothing less than remarkable. And though I know the National Book Foundation has singled me out tonight for this award, for which I am sincerely humbled, I accept it on behalf of the thousands of indie booksellers all across this country, who every day, thousands and thousands of times, perform that special act of magic by placing the right book in a reader's hands. That simple act, whether it entertains, teaches, or inspires, makes the world a far, far better place. And for me to have been associated with that magic has been the highlight of my professional life. I was asked recently about what it was about my job at ABA that I liked the most. 
and I knew the answer almost immediately. I responded by saying that because of my years at ABA, I have a good friend in every town and city in America, let alone around the world. In the world, words of the poet W.B. Yeats, Yeats, think where man's glory most begins and ends, and I say my glory was that I had such remarkable friends. Thank you for this honor.